This is something I want to show you guys for some time now. I'll call it a dessert, half of this anyway. It's a homemade banana bread. The banana bread is quite simple and easy to make. It's really delicious. It's not as complicated as some things you can do, but that's what makes it such a good thing. So let's just have a look at that. Let's bring it up. Have some butter on it right there. So it's quite good actually. What I like about this banana bread is it actually lives up to its name. It's similar to a bread. Some people make this and it's really soggy and heavy. I don't like my banana bread like that. I like it more fluffy. So that's the way this one is. Let's break it apart here. Have a look. So I'll just have a bite of the banana bread. Even though this one was frozen and unthawed, it's still pretty light and fluffy. Sometimes when you freeze them and unthaw them, sometimes they're a little bit heavier. But this one is still quite light and fluffy. I have another bite there. Some uh, tea to go with that there. Yeah, like I said, if you want uh, a recipe for this, you can go and put it in the comments. Actually very easy to make. I actually made an instructional video on how to uh, do this, just a step-by-step -step process. And fun, easy. It's a very mild, pleasing smell of banana from this. It's nothing overpowering, it's nothing off with this whatsoever. And I know what you're thinking, uh, with blue saltwater mussels, that's a really weird combination. Yeah, it kind of is, you know. I can eat pretty much anything. I like a variety of foods. It's all the same down in your stomach, I guess. So I'll just get a close-up of that shell. Under different light, it looks uh, different colors. It almost looks uh, black here now. They can be dark, but they, they also can vary to a lighter color. I'll let you have a look on the inside of this. That's the meat part here. It has this little attachment right, right here, where my thumb is too. You just pull that off. And you try it. Yeah, it's good, it's just a, a salty seafood taste. Maybe uh, reminiscent to a crab or a lobster taste, somewhat. That's, that's probably the closest that I can tell you that, that it tastes like. Let's lay that down. Let's get another one. It's only uh, five there. I mean, they're all shell. It's not much meat to these guys. It's kind of mushy, a little slightly mushy, a little slight chew, slight saltiness. Those are cool though. I might do something a little, a little funny here, a little strange. I'll just lay that down. I'll get some of this banana bread. <laughs> I don't know what some of you guys are thinking about this one. Banana bread with blue saltwater mussel. Maybe this is gonna make some people sick, but <laughs> I know people that wouldn't like this. But here we go. Mm. Yeah, it's not too bad. Had some tea to wash that down. Even though I said the banana bread, it is mild, a mild, nice banana taste. It just sort of overpowers this muscle. This muscle has a distinct taste. The banana bread still takes it over when you're eating it together. The banana bread, you're tasting the banana bread with a, with a chewiness inside. A chewy banana bread. You can't get any of this muscle taste. Let me show you guys this. It's kind of a weird looking thing. Sort of can close up like this. Almost like a pistachio. You open it up, and you got your stuff on the inside. Oh well, let's pop that in. You can boil these mussels in salt water, or a lot of people just steam these guys. You steam them in a big pot, and uh, that's, that's a couple of different ways you can go with these. I also, you can buy these by the bottle. Oops. Little crumbs falling down here. Let's sweep this off. You can also buy these uh, in frozen bags, in, in different forms, frozen in a bag with the shells and all. You can buy these in bottles, which is the with the meat here in a, a vinegar a brine in the bottle. Uh, I also like to tell you with these, I made a homemade 
It's called a three bean salad. You get a, a can of three different beans together and you mix up these beans in vinegar. You use sugar and you use some other spices. Then you put the beans and that and the sugar, vinegar, and spices together, and you let them marinate in a bottle, and uh, the flavors go through the beans. I had a bottle of those in the fridge, and I had some mussels, and I put the mussels in the three bean salad. I gotta say, it was awesome. Uh, it was a real treat. It was one of those things that you just you can't eat enough. You have a few. It's a very savory, flavorful snack to have, and I I just have I'd open up the bottle, have some. You know, I put the bottle in the fridge, open it up, you, you know, have some more, have some more. Before you know it, the whole bottle's gone within no time. So that's one way to go that I'd really recommend 100%. I just love it. Anyway, this is Jay, 1981. Ration Food Review. Hope you guys liked this video. And hope you enjoyed that combination, banana bread and blue saltwater mussels. It's definitely been a first for me. I never tried this before. And I look forward to coming back and just sharing some other stuff with you guys. Could have something new, old, or something even homemade. Something weird like this. Alright, see ya.